Hello everyone, welcome back to Knowledge Unlimited. So children, today we will be solving lesson number 2, the interrelationships between living things. Okay, so are you ready? Okay. Let's move to the first question. So the first question here is fill in the blanks by choosing the appropriate words given in the brackets. So the first one is after dash winter comes again so what is the answer rainy season after rainy season winter comes again next one we keep animals because animals meet some of our needs okay let's see the next one we spray dash to prevent insects from attacking plants the answer is insecticides. We spray insecticides to prevent insects from attacking plants. See the fourth one. Winter is also known as the season of dash. It's pangal. Okay. Winter is also known as a season of pangal. Fifth one. Butterflies feed on the dash of flowers. The answer is nectar. Okay, butterflies feed on the nectar of flowers. See the next one. Sixth one, a combustible gas called dash is obtained from cattle dung. The answer is gober gas. Okay, a combustible gas called gober gas is obtained from cattle dung. Okay, now let's see the seventh one. Forest appears dash color because the leaves are reddish in the beginning of summer. So the answer is copper. Okay. Forest appears copper color because the leaves are reddish in the beginning of summer. Let's see the eighth one. The dash region in Maharashtra is particularly famous for its mangoes. The answer is Konkan. The Konkan region in Maharashtra is particularly Famous for its mangoes. Okay. And the last one is changes in the dash affect living things. The answer is seasons. Okay. Changes in the seasons affect living things. Alright. Let's see the next one. So next here we have true or false. Okay. Write whether the following statements are true or false. See the first one. There are no differences in the needs of different living things. That is false. Second one. If aquatic plants are given more water, they start rotting. That's false. Third one. Tiger remains hidden due to the stripes on its body and can catch the prey. Okay, that's true. Fourth one. Sheep gives silk to man. That's false. See the fifth one. Cattle gives pallets which are good as a manure. That is false. Sixth one. Plants give us abundantly. That is true. Seventh one. We use cotton clothes in summer. That's true. Eighth one. The end of the rainy season is also the time for the mango trees to start blossoming. That's false. Okay. Ninth one, the cashew apples are red yellow in the color. That's true. And the last one, tenth one, farmers work hard in the fields. That's true. Okay. Now let's move forward. Now we have matched the column. Okay. What do animals give us? So the first one is silkworm. It gives us silk clothes. Okay. Second one is sheep. Sheep gives us wool. Okay. Dog. Dog guards the house. Cattle. Gober gas. Goat. Pellets. Okay. Let's see the next part children. What do the animals eat? Chameleons. Insects. Snake. Rats. Frogs. Third one is tiger. Deer. Fourth one. Sheep and goats. Shrubs. Fifth one. Cows and buffaloes. Grass. Next, we have is when does this happen? Okay, the first one is mohar of mango tree. The answer is end of winter. 
second one new leaves on trees the answer is beginning of summer third one cashew nut season the answer is in summer fourth one jackfruits in the market the answer is beginning of rainy season and the fifth one is farming the answer is in rainy season okay let's move forward question number 4 answer in one sentence each okay the first one is which needs are of our are fulfilled by the nature which needs of us are fulfilled by the nature the answer is food water air clothing shelter etc are our needs which are fulfilled by the nature okay question number 2 which animals live in the grasslands the answer is deer nilgai and bison live in the grasslands question number 3 where does tiger take shelter tiger takes shelter in the caves in hills or mountains question number 4 from what are dung cakes made what is the use of dung cakes dung cakes are made from the excreta of cattle and these are used as fuel okay and the fifth one is name two fruits which are seen in the market during the summer season so the answer is mangoes and watermelon let's see the next one question number 6 which fruits are seen when the rainy season is a short way away the answer is jackfruits jamuns and karwandas okay question number 7 why is winter called season of pangal or falling of leaves many trees shed their leaves during winter therefore the winter season is called the season of falling of leaves or season of pangal okay Let's see the next one. It's a give reason. Okay, question number five. Give reasons. The first one: a tiger has stripes. So the answer for this is: tiger hunts and kills its prey for its food. It lies in wait to catch its prey in tall grasses. Due to its stripes, the prey cannot locate him easily. Therefore. it can hunt deer nilgai and bison easily due to its stripes okay let's see the next one give reason number 2 we keep different domestic animals with us some animals satisfy our needs milk meat eggs are obtained from animals some domestic animals help in heavy farm work in fields and also for transport dog guards our house while sheep gives us wool okay due to all such benefits we keep different domestic animals with us okay now we have question number 6 answer the following questions number 1 how are plants useful to us okay the plants gives us food grains vegetables fruits flowers etc plants also provide us with fibers like cotton wool we can make clothes from these plants fibers plants give us oxygen they also provide materials like wood to us for making a shelter okay question number 2 we have what is meant by arboreal animals arboreal means those living in trees arboreal animals are those animals that feed on the fruits or insects therein arboreal animals take support of the trees to live monkeys squirrels are arboreal animals Question number three: What changes do we see in trees at the beginning of March? In the beginning of March, there is a change in the season from winter to summer. Therefore, many trees are seen with new leaves. Forest trees take up 
copper color because new and tender leaves look reddish and shiny. These are the changes that occur in trees as the weather starts becoming warmer. Okay? Let's see the next one. Question number 4. How does man take care of his domestic animals? Domestic animals are dear to their owners. Okay? They look after these animals well. They feed them and provide them with clean and comfortable shelter. If the animals fall sick, the owner takes them to the vet and does the medical treatment. Okay? Let's see the fifth one. What are the uses of excreta of domestic animals for men? The answer for this is, the excreta of domestic animals are useful to men. The cow dung is combustible when it is dried up. So, dung cakes are made from it. These are used as fuel in villages. The dung of cattle is used to make gober gas. This is cheap and effective fuel. Manure is also made from cattle dung and pellets of sheep and goats. This manure is used by farmers for crops. Okay, now let's see the sixth one. How do animals help the plants? Animals who take support of plants to live also help them in turn. Animals eat fruits from the trees. As they move around, they disperse the seeds to nearby areas through their droppings. New plants grow through these seeds spread by animals. Okay. Now let's see the next one. That is question number 7. Can you tell? The first one is, if fish leave the water, will they be able to live on land? The answer for this is, no. Fish cannot live on land. They can only take up oxygen dissolved in water. For this respiration, they use their gills. They cannot respire on land and would thus die. Okay? The next question, think and tell. Question number one. If it rains heavily for two or three days, water collects in fields. The crops growing there rot. Why? Answer. The root of the crops which are standing in the waterlogged soil start rotting. As the roots rot slowly, the plant also rots. The grains which are developing on the crops may fall off due to strong rain and wind. Due to this, the rottening become more rapid. In this way, the heavy rains cause great damage to the standing crops. Okay, children, let's see the next one. Why do we not get a good crop if we do not get good rains? Answer, the crops need regular water for its growth. If it rains less, the crops may not get enough water. The saplings may not grow vigorously due to lack of water. Most of our crops are dependent only on rainwater. So if we do not get good rains, we do not get good crops too. Okay? Let's see the third one. Why does the Indian rat snake, Dhaman, live around fields? Rat snake is non-poisonous and big in size. It feeds on field rats near the fields. The rat come in search of grains. The rat snake in turn comes in search of rats as rats is its favorite food. Okay, let's see the fourth one. If there are furry animals living in snowy regions, would their coats be thick or sparse? Answer, furry animals living in snowy regions will have thick fur coats on their bodies. They need warmth which is provided through their thick fur. Okay? Next one is open-ended questions. What's the solution? Gurpreet has to play a cocoa match on a summer afternoon. 
she has to be told what to do to protect herself from the heat answer gurpreet should wear cotton clothes to keep her body cool she has to play in the sun therefore she should have enough water with her she should have breakfast and enough liquid such as sharbat or cold water she should not play on empty stomach she can wear a cap to protect herself from the sun let's see the second one in some cities it is observed that monkeys are creating trouble they come in the houses and steal the fruits and other food why does this happen what is your opinion answer man has destroyed the nature and the forest he has chopped off many trees due to this the habitat of monkeys is under threat they do not get enough food in search of food they come to human settlements and try to get whatever they need okay children let's see the next one we have questions for oral test the first one is find out question number 1 what is a marathi name for mango blossoms it's amba bahar okay when do mango trees blossom every year so it's february to march second one does the banyan have leaves throughout the year no it does not see the third one we see frogs everywhere during the rains where do they disappear in summer so the frogs prefer to live under the moist soil pit and water drains during the summer okay see the next one fourth one which is the season for jamuns it's june to july okay formative evaluation can you tell question number 1 from where do we get silk we get silk from silkworm or caterpillar of silk moth okay question number 2 how are trees useful for monkeys so the trees provide shelter for monkeys uh the monkeys get fruits to eat from the trees okay the trees also protect the monkeys okay from other predators children okay question number 3 how are trees useful for birds so the trees provide the shelter the birds make nest right children the birds get to eat fruits vegetables the and leaves also right children so in this way the trees are useful for the birds the birds make nest on it right let's move to the next one what happens if termites make a tree hollow so what would happen it weakens the tree the trees might even die okay children see the next one a riddle to solve an old an age old tree with a thick strong trunk gives deep dark shade from the scorching sun like an old man's beard with many strands it has ropes for swinging from every branch which tree is shown in the picture yes that's banyan tree okay children let's see the next one activity project let's see the second one children find out the information about any five medicinal plants that are commonly found in your area the answer for this is tulsi amla ginger garlic and turmeric okay children so that was all for this lesson number 2 children okay if you like this video do subscribe it like it and share it with your friends see you again in the next video okay we'll be back with the third lesson storage of water see you soon take care of yourself children bye everyone